Hey, what's going on out there? So, current situation is, uh, this is like, should be like the final stretch with getting uh, my trailer registered. Uh, I've been jumping through a bunch of hoops with that, and I think I'm ready to go today finally. This is my third trip going down. Um, but I think, I think today should be it, so only we'll be able to see when I get down there. I already got, I already got it inspected, and I was in one of the older videos that I put up. It was actually when I came straight from... Uh, when I came straight back from Alabama with the trailer, I went right to the DMV, got an inspector. So that part, good to go on. Now I just got to get it uh, registered. So had to do had to do a bunch of back and forth with uh, with the finance company, DMV, uh, Southern Trailers. But I think we got it all square. I think it was actually ready for me to uh, come and get it registered yesterday. So we'll see. Hopefully I can run in, run out. And it'll be uh, pretty easy. I think they know me down there, down here in the DMV, so this should be pretty funny. Um, anyway, yeah, going to try to take care of this here. Trailer registration, once I get out, all things, um, if everything goes my way, uh, I guess I'll have, my, I'll have my plates and I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to get out there and start hauling um, officially. So, yeah, we'll see how things go. Stay tuned. Woo! Finally got this registration done. Whoa. Whew. This part is too crazy. So, let me walk you out through this whole uh, registration scenario. All right, so if um, if you watch my other video, when I picked up my trailer, I came straight from Alabama, straight down to the DMV, got it inspected. That was no problems. Came in, couldn't get it, um, couldn't get it registered because um, I didn't have I didn't have some documents. Let's put it out because I've been told so many different things. So. What they told me, actually, you know what? I'll tell you what they told me, just in case you get into this situation. Every state is different. Let me just actually back up and let y'all know that uh, every state's DMV is different. They got different rules. They play different games. They got different things you got to go through. So what's going on here? You might have a totally different, you might have smooth sailing. It might be no issues for you. But for me, man, I was running, I was going through the ringer. So first day, Go in the DMV. They said, "Oh, the guy was like, where's your, where's your, um, I think he called it a, a manufacturer certificate of origin, MCO." He kept saying MCO, MCO. I was like, "I don't even know what that means. What is that?" He was like, "Oh, that's like the birth certificate for the trailer." Okay, I don't got none of that. I said, "I have the bill of sale that uh, Shane gave me from Southern Trailers. That's it." He was like, "Well, nah, I can't do nothing with that. You got to get the MCO." Okay, fine. So I roll out of there. Um. Get on the phone. Uh, Shane said, I sent it out there already. They should have it called out there. They said, oh, we have it here. They sent me a copy of it. Boom. Next day I go down there, got the copy of the MCO. Go in there. They're like, nah. They were like, we need a title. Where's the title? I was like, well, they said I only need well, this MCO. What are you talking about title? Like, nah, you got to get a title. And, you know, and, and mind you, the whole time is... Hold on, let me go check with somebody. Come back. Do you got this? No. Hold on, let me go check. It's been it's so crazy. I Meanwhile, I'm standing at this counter at the DMV, watching them go through these motions, asking all these crazy questions. So, so at the end, of, that was the last visit. I walked away with that. That she, I actually ended up getting a temporary tag, which um, in the meantime, so I was, so I'm, you know, I could ride the trailer if I need to. So cool. Paid a little bit of money. Got my temporary tag. She told me that what I had to do is I have to get, I had to get the, the finance company to send them, um, the title or the actual, the title or the actual, um, cert. So I had a copy because that's what the email me. So I had to send, 
the DMV has to get the actual the actual document because of stuff on the back. So just like a regular title. I mean, in hindsight, it's just like a regular like when you when you register a vehicle, it just seemed for some reason, it just seemed like it was going different. They were calling different things and the process was a little different. So. All right. So got to get um, got to get them to send it to the MCO to the DMV so they can like sign stuff and whatever, put in my name. And they gave me the temporary until that comes in. So I was like, all right, well, in the meantime, I get on, get on with the dispatcher. What's up? I got this temporary tag. Let's actually, uh, it was, he actually contacted me. He had a load that I could possibly get, get done that next day. If I get my registration straight. So I was like, cool. Um, I, I got, uh, I got the temporary tag. So let's roll. And he's like, mm -mm. You need a physical, the hard tag. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. He's like, nah, you can't. Now, I'm not sure if that was um, like if that's a shipper requirement or if that was, you know, FMCSA requirement. Either way, I wasn't gonna be able to roll with the paper tag. So I had to immediately like, and it's something about when, like when, like is when like the stakes are high, you end up, you know, a little bit more urgency. So like then. At, I got on the phone, made a bunch of phone calls, got in touch with somebody at the finance company, big help. Ended up overnighting my stuff. This was, uh, so today is Thursday. So that was Tuesday when all that went down. Um, so she had my documents emailed to the DMV. It showed up yesterday, but it was after the time, um, it was after the time I needed because like in order to be able to still get that load yesterday, I had to, um, I had to give confirmation by like 11 a.m. And it just so happens that on Wednesdays here in, in Delaware, the DMV don't open till noon. So I was out for getting, you know, getting that first job. But whatever. Um, yeah, so then I fell back. I paused. I was like, all right, I got confirmation that my title work is here at the DMV yesterday. I was like, I'm not going to rush down there. I can't get enough done. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, so so I'm gonna take my time, come down here, chill early uh, on Thursday, wrap things up. So here I am, come in here. It's the third person I talked to. Oh, and and everybody was nice. It's just you know information falls through the cracks. Some people they got different questions. They look at it. so. Uh, going through the ringer with this lady here and she was really legitimately trying to help. I will say that um, I know one of the women that work here. I used to work with her and, you know, she, it, we was talking afterwards and the idea is that everybody been to, you know, if you if you're an adult with a license, you've been to the DMV and it seems like that's a place where if you like most places, I guess, are that way, too. But if you come in with an attitude, best believe you're not going to get nowhere. So. Even though I was on my third trip here, I'm getting all I'm getting the third version of the story. I'm like trying to at this counter, trying to breathe through everything. This lady's I mean, just when you, so to give you an example, I want to make this a little real for you. So I pull up to the counter, give them my paperwork. I give it the paperwork they gave me. Say, hey, my title should be here overnight. It. She was like, oh, OK, Whoa. she looked at the paper was like, oh, uh, what kind of trailer is this? I was like. It's a flatbed trailer. She was like, "Oh, well, well, what you going? How much you gonna be hauling on it?" I was like, "Kind of a tricky question, but I probably won't go over ten thousand pounds, general freight." She was like, "Oh, it's a big trailer, so you gotta take that down to Dover." Mm -hmm. I was like, "Come on, lady." I, uh. So I had to, I had to take a minute because you know she she's really trying to do her best to help me out, but. I was like, um, I was like, okay, well, I already had the truck, I already had the trailer inspected here, so I think I'm past that. I also have a temporary tag, so I think really all I have to do at this point is just the little last bit of registration. I think I'm past all that. So she was like, okay, all right, kept moving. Da, da, da. Um, so anyway, that was just one example. There were several other touch points like that. I mean, she called other, like they ended up calling. One other lady over, another late supervisor had to approve something. And there was one lady that was, I guess she was like a lead that she was sitting behind there. And she's seen me there a couple of times already. So she kind of already knew where this was going. But so she just kind of hung out just to make sure. And I appreciate that, that 
because the lady that was registering me today, she wasn't, she had never done a trailer before, so she was struggling with that a little bit, but whatever. Um, they got the laughing and joking and everything behind there, uh, you know, so it was, it was all right at the end. It, it worked out. Bottom line, I got my title. I mean, sorry, I got my, got my, got my plate to go in there. Trailers registered, so I'm all set. Ready to start booking these loads. So, yeah, at the end of the day, wherever y'all are, if, once you get your trailer, you get your registration. I mean, I guess the best idea is kind of think of it like a regular car. If you if you buying it straight cash, or if you if you um, or if you, or if you just getting the finance, same kind of things. Whatever happened at your DMV, it's still kind of the same thing. Um, I mean, depending on how big your trailer is, you might have different experiences. I don't know. Like I said, every DMV is different. This is just my situation. Some of the things that was hurdles for me, like I said, was getting it inspected. I had I, the uh, the the receipt or the bill of sale has to match the um, the stamp on the side of the that was actually stamped on the trailer, and that was off for me because it was handwritten one way, and uh, it was derated on the trailer another. So that was a little bit of a confusion. Then. Um, like the time of getting the documents to the DMV, like left by itself, they wasn't like the, the document was going to be there. It would still be sitting in California. So depending on what your timetable is, like if you press for time, I, the way for me, the, I sure my timetable was I contacted them, the financing company, and they overnighted my documents to the DMV. So just something to be aware of, I guess, is, the, is that the DMV wherever you are, make sure they have all your documents that you need to go through. You might even want to do it, do like a sanity check, go in there before like, Hey, I'm about to get this trailer. What do I need? And you might do better. Like asking a couple people, maybe look on the website, bounce it off a couple people just so you have an idea. And then on top of all of that, be prepared in case they throw you a curveball because you still dealing with people. And you know, some people interpret one thing one way or another. So, all that being said, um, that's it for now. Check y'all later. If you have any questions specifically, like if you, especially if you're in Delaware, if you got any questions about registration or trailer, it's my first one, so I'm not trying to don't, I'm not trying to make it seem like oh I know what I'm doing with all this stuff. I'm just telling you how my situation went. So um, if you got any questions about specifically to like my trailer, my registration, like what I had to do, anything extra that I might have left out maybe not be clear, you know, drop it in the comments or send me an email or something like that. So I guess that's it for now. About to get out of here and try to enjoy the rest of my day. So all y'all, y'all take it easy out there and um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.